Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to paint this pretty loose floral scene. So let's get started and don't forget to subscribe. First for our supplies, we need watercolor paper and a brush. Now recently, I've been focusing on tutorials using a dagger or a striper brush. So today I'm using a dagger brush, but a round brush can work for this painting as well. We also need a clean glass of water, a paper towel, and of course, watercolor paints. Mine are mixed with water and are all ready to go. Now, I live here in America, and we are just about to celebrate the 4th of July or our Independence Day, so I've chosen to paint this a little patriotic to represent this holiday. So just keep in mind that you can paint this using any colors. It doesn't have to be the colors I've chosen. You're the artist here for your work, and you can pick any colors you like. So my colors are green, yellow, red, ultramarine blue, and phthalo blue. So let's start painting by putting a red rose right here in the center of the page. Start by using the tip of your brush to create the center, and the farther you paint the petals, the more pressure you're gonna put on your brush to make the petals thicker and fatter. It's also a good idea to allow the color to lighten up a little bit in value the farther out you go. So to help with that, you'll notice I'm not adding more color to my brush as I move outward. After I have the base of my rose laid out and while the paint is still a little wet, I'm gonna go back in with a little more red and just add that to a few of the outer petals to help with dimension and to the center to make it just a little darker. Another thing you can try in your rose if you feel it needs it is take a clean wet brush, wipe off any excess water on your paper towel so it's not too wet and rub a little color off of some of the petals, making some of the areas a little lighter and creating a bit of a highlight. And then when your rose is completely dry, you can go back in one more time and enhance a few of the edges with a tiny bit more red and just the tip of your brush. Now let's move on to some blue flowers. I'm gonna dip my brush in the ultramarine blue and paint some blue flowers right next to my rose. For these flowers, you're gonna place the tip of the brush down at the center of the flower, then pivot or wipe your brush sideways to create the petals. If you need more in-depth instructions on this, go back and watch my previous tutorial where I go into how to paint these flowers and leaves in more detail. I will post that video at the end of this tutorial. After you've painted two or three of these blue ultramarine flowers, let's paint a few more in a similar way, but this time let's paint them smaller and use phthalo blue. Now it's time to add some greenery. So first let's paint a few thin stem lines where you want some leaves to be. And the majority of these lines will curve in a similar direction. After the stems are painted, start adding in some nice leaves of different sizes and shapes.
Now you'll notice I left a few of my stems without any leaves. So on these stems, instead of leaves, I'm gonna paint some small red berries using the tip of my brush. You can paint the entire circle red, or you can try leaving a little white dot so that it looks like a shiny highlight spot. I found that the best way to paint these berries is by holding your brush upside down. Then paint the left side curve first and then add the right side curve. If you're using a dagger brush, the right side will naturally paint on just a little thicker and you can basically paint each berry in just two strokes and it will even leave a bit of a highlight. And then when you're done with the berries, you can use some yellow paint and paint in a few dots of color in the center of your blue flowers. Now for a small optional detail that I'm adding because my floral arrangement is American patriotic, I'm going to carefully paint in a few small blue stars here and there. Now if you choose to do this, you can try using a small round brush to paint these, or you can even cheat and use a pen or a marker and just draw them on. Now after I had a minute to reflect on my painting, I felt I needed to add a few more berry stems and leaves to finish it off and even it out. So take a quick look at yours and feel free to add something if you feel like yours isn't quite complete. But be careful not to overdo it, it's easy to get carried away, and sometimes less is more. For my finishing touch, I'm going to add a few small red splatters to the edges of my arrangement by using my forefinger and just carefully flicking the bristles of my brush. If you're nervous to do this, practice it first on a scrap piece of paper. And here is your easy and fun loose floral painting finished and ready to display. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.